Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Let's Play Island Callan. If you missed the last episode, um, we did some dreamy, uh, let's say hunting in the last episode, which basically means that we tried kicking out the villagers that we didn't want to keep and then we just got the ones that we do want from Treasure Islands. And that way we now have an almost complete uh, lineup. You will probably see Alice and Tutu. They are brand new on this island. Um, we unfortunately did have to kick out T-Bone, uh, but we can bring him back today because I have his amiibo and we will kick out Phil. And then uh, Daly is still in the middle of moving in all the way over on the left side, which used to be Molly's spot. So today I would like to complete that lineup and also um, probably shuffle around some houses. So this used to be at T-Bone's place. Now there's, you know, Alice living here. So I think what we'll do is we'll move her away from the spot uh, in just a bit. And once T-Bone is here, we can move T-Bone here. So I just want to line, uh, out outline the house, I think. So basically we're gonna try and just do, oh, there's some tall grown weeds here. I see, okay. Well, we're just gonna do like a corner. Uh, on both sides if possible. All right, this is a small weed, this can go. <laughs> and then we're just gonna line the corner so that I can find this um, this spot like much, much more uh, easily later on. Also, I don't know if I found my message bottle for the day just yet. Oh, there is a fragment though, I will take that. Thank you very much. Um, and then I believe I also have to do some cleaning. Ew, look at this bug. <laughs> I have to do some cleaning um, for, like by the resident services. Do, oh, oh my God, wait, we have like a pretty decent, uh, what is it called? Critterpedia, <laughs> at least when it comes to bugs. Usually, yeah, usually my fish section looks like much, much sadder. Uh, sea creatures, also totally fine. I kind of forgot that we did diving at some point, but I think today's episode is, uh, 60 like episode freaking 60 and you know it feels as though we're kind of still preparing some stuff for this uh let's play which is absolutely fine honestly uh wait where's the where's the incline here um it's a lot of fun to you know just take this one step at a time and uh not rush things and not have to completely like just oh, wow shovel city see i totally <laughs> Having different islands at the same time makes you always like so confused about why you have certain things. Uh, so so there's that. Anyway, um, I am going to, I don't know, I keep just like, uh, I keep just cleaning up stuff. But again, you know, that's something we have to do, especially now that we did so much, uh, so much time traveling for the um, villager kickout session. But we've done that now and we only have to do... What is it, three days of inviting a villager to the campsite when you've like, uh, you want to amiibo them in. So we're gonna do that. And then we essentially don't have to do any more time traveling for um, for like villager purposes, which is awesome. And we can pretty much stick around on the very, very same days. <gasps> oh my God, this paper is so beautiful. I'm sending you a gift. It's a paradise planning phone case. Oh yeah. Oh my God, this is such beautiful paper. Okay, so um, a bit of a bit of mail taken care of. We love to see that. And then I did mean to actually get a few of these fossils because uh, this really annoyed me when we were running around yesterday. I looked at all of these. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like a mess. Um, I do want to complete my museum, um, but I also really want to stop the fossils from from showing up. So I I don't know. Maybe we have to focus on that. And then at some point we can bury the six fossils and, you know, just keep them from spawning because like it's the same as with like tree branches. If you go and drop 15 individual tree branches, you can completely stop them from spawning every day so that they don't like litter your island, which is awesome. Um, and the same thing can be done for fossils. If you bury six fossils, because there can be like up to six uh, different fossils buried on your island somewhere, then they stop spawning and you can completely take control of what appears on your island where, which is really, really handy. Um, I sometimes do it on the beach just because like, as I decorate, I just wanted to have, just want to have it out of the way. Ugh. Daily. 
I'm excited to be him. I'm excited to have him. I, I've never had him on an island, so I'm excited to uh, get to know him and hopefully fall in love with him. But yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll either put it on the beach or just so that for decorating, it's not in my way. Or um, also, Daisy, don't. Phil is gonna leave soon. <laughs> don't don't waste your energy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, you can also hide it behind buildings. Sometimes that can be really handy. I know that there's the money rock thing, but I don't think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that and like worry about it. Okay, so let's put the storage up here. And then obviously we've got a few presents. We have the phone kit. I ordered some weed fields, which I think I'll try and keep doing. Ooh, what is the what is the version that we get? Oh, we get the cute little one with the flowers. I'll keep that on. That's really cute. I like that one. Um, yeah, I'll keep ordering wheat fields as we time travel T-Bone in because I would like to unlock the um, the uh, the the shopping app, which I think you have to order like a hundred a hundred items, which is a lot. Phil is singing over there. Do you see that? Okay, hold on. I can check though how much I have up until this point somewhere here. There's like an achievement for it. Um, board reward. No, it's something with like shop. Oh yeah, shop to it. Is that it? <sighs> oh my gosh. We we're, we've only done 37 and we need to order a hundred things for us to unlock the um, app on our phone. And that honestly does make life a lot easier because sometimes you just need like one or two things and you don't want to like, I don't know, for example, go to like a treasure island for it or something. So you just want to quickly order it, but then you don't because you would have to run to resident services and you just kind of don't do it because it is heckin annoying. Okay, let me, let me put all this stuff away. I don't even know what I got. So it looks like butterfly models, decoy ducks, uh, materials, which is always great. And then obviously I'm going to put the fossils in our storage as well for now and the gyroid fragments we are gonna I think we're just gonna build them up at some point and uh I really want to do like a gyroid area on this island too I have been reading I've started reading through some of your comments to uh yesterday's episode if you're seeing this that was like a couple of days ago but um for me right now I uploaded it yesterday and I asked about like cute backstories for our villagers because this is supposed to kind of be like a retreat you know so um i i kind of want all the villagers to have a specific backstory and uh that will also obviously influence the stuff that we decorate for them interior as well as exterior i think that can be really really fun and just uh you know make this all much more like realistic and relatable if that's a word um that can be used in this context i don't know um, but I've re started reading through it all and I'm super excited because it's like really cute and actually really really touching stuff Interesting things. Okay, but it's a lot of I think I tried picking out things in like actually the Color scheme that we need so it's probably gonna be a lot of like white blue and pink stuff um, So we'll see I've seen some some flowers and decoy ducks, etc. Yeah, so we'll work in, you know, so like Gala, we'll have the flower shop. I think that'll be probably one of the first uh, areas that we will decorate very soon. Um, and uh, and then I read something about Daly being like a burnt out or like his parents wanted him to be like a super successful like businessman. Um, and it just wasn't for him, which I think is really cute, especially because of the like sweater that he wears, because it kind of looks like one of those business attires. Um, I also, so there's two things I would love to work in just because I feel like um, those can be really, really pretty areas. Uh, one of which is kind of like a gyroid concert area, like just maybe it could be kind of in like a pottery area too, right? Like gyroids could be seen as somewhat of a pottery project maybe. Uh, so that could work together because I've been I've been wanting to include some arts and crafts for sure uh, Which I think we can also kind of do around my house because that's supposed to be, be like the retreat where people can take like classes I think uh, So that could be an option. We could even do like an interior room uh, Additionally with gyros, but I would also like to have them outside just because they're super cute and you know putting them on different like stools and tables 
Um, it really brings together like a, a beautiful area, which is super fun to walk through as well. And then if we just add like a, um, like a speaker and put like um, some fun music on, I think that'll be, that'll be really cool. And then the next one is actually also related to music, but I've seen some people do kind of like this record shop in a way. Um, I think I'm gonna put the tree branches on the beach in the back because for like this right here, obviously we're gonna be working on soonish. I think I wanted to have like a shopping district to the front and then have like a neighborhood. So um, I'm gonna have to like build stuff up in the, in the future. And I feel like the tree branches are gonna be really, really annoying there. Okay, we've got like shrubs everywhere. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. It is a mess, but <clears throat> I guess that's okay. Okay, before I run to the back though, let me actually go and invite T-Bone for the first time. All right, here we are. Um, I have no idea what type of uh, fences we have already learned, um, but so that might be something we do. Okay, first of all, let's do the nook shopping. Uh, so that I, I don't forget that and just kind of leave after I've invited, um, invited T-Bone. Okay. And then I'm going to just, the pale green, I think that was the one we used, right? So I'm just going to order, uh, some pale green wheat fields because those can always be used. Absolutely love wheat fields. I think they've been the best addition to, uh, to the game with the 2.0 update right beside cliff vines, probably. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to invite a camper because a friend of mine um, made me a little T-bone um, amiibo chip thingy. So I can actually um, just bring him back, you know? He he got over the fight that he had with uh, Flurry and he's he's come to his senses. He knows uh, that, you know, he judged the situation completely um, the wrong way and uh, is is ready to to mend things and make the relationship stronger. So he's coming back. All right, let me actually just very briefly check the Nook Mile items or like maybe also the recipes. I don't know if, oh yeah, see, there's like a bunch of recipes. How many, oh, I've got so many miles to. Okay, well, is there something that I would want? I mean, I guess I could learn the donation box and the drinking fountain. Let's kind of print some stuff out and let me briefly check my fence recipes too. And then I also thought about, since we were like in the middle of time traveling, um, I want to check if I have the Festivali reaction set, you know, the one that you can you can buy in like February Because I keep forgetting that one and I kind of really want to have those uh, Even if just for the sake of having them, you know, okay, so I think fences is here um, Right, so we've got both the lattice fences. We have the vertical board The mermaid fence super random the park and the corrugated iron fence Right, okay, so there definitely could be more fencing that we can learn. Um, definitely ones that we might want to use on the island, but at the same time also just, you know, I, I do like things to be complete, so. Oh, definitely the lock fence then, right? Yeah, that one for sure. And then I don't think I have the brick fence either, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna print those two. Okay, brick fence, here we go. Today's like this errand running episode, which I, I, I knew going in I wanted to invite T-Bone fully complete the lineup, you know, bring back old friends and mend old, like mend relationships or whatever. Um, but I, I don't know. Now it's just this errand running thing, <laughs> which is totally fine. That is totally fine. Ooh, I like the destination signpost too. I don't, I've forgotten already which is the first, which the first one was that I bought. So I'm gonna have to learn these first because I think then they disappear from the selection, at least the ones that aren't a fence. Okay, so now uh, don't don't make another one. Okay, and what what do we have? Destination signpost, great. And then here's the donation box. That one can actually be really cute. I hate the way the camera tilts in this spot when you've like when you're in a corner of a building, so it like zooms back to the center of it, and then whenever you interact with your uh, character stuff, it kind of zooms to the corner. It's oh gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Cool side table, monochromatic dot flooring. Oh yeah, some cardboard boxes because a lot of people moved in, right? So, antique mini table. See, we can totally work with that. Shattered glasses, I can't work with that. And an earth egg. So happy about that one. 
<laughs> my gosh, so much trash in her pockets. Okay, um, just you know what? I'm just gonna get some some more items. Uh, just the just uh, you know these these recipes. Let me re redeem those and then um, yeah, I'll be back right after. <laughs> All right, so a bunch of miles and a bit of knowledge later, we have learned a few of those. And now the next step, oh wait, let's say hello to T-Bone and then find out what he wants. Do we have our uh, wooden storage shed with us? Yes, we do. Also, don't I need to maybe collect some shells? I keep forgetting that. I think I didn't get that many shells from like a treasure island or anything like that. So we actually should um, collect some of those in our everyday, like, you know, daily business. I keep not doing that. Hello, T-Bone. How are you doing? Thanks for inviting me, that is. Thanks, Moocher. Okay, what is it that you want? A sleigh. That is such a random thing. Okay, but that's fine. Uh, and I'm getting new recipes too, which is actually quite handy. So if you ever, I mean, at some point, probably you're not gonna really get many new recipes, but this can be a handy way to try and get a few more. So like if you have any amiibos, you know, that might be uh, that might be something fun. Actually, wait, I don't know if it's fun. Uh, it just might be a little handy. Okay, so it seems, yeah, this is a very unusual uh, storage situation for me right here. Do I have a workbench is the question. Or did I leave that by my house? Uh, let me, let me see, let me see. I do not see no workbench. Okay, let me see where I have it. Wait, it's not here either? Let's learn the sleigh recipe. I think there might be one by the beach for some reason. I seem to have this image of like a DIY workbench uh, by the beach here by the, at the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, very random. Also, there seems to be a pipe here. Don't know why. Don't know what happened there. Maybe that was... Oh, there's another workbench. Wow, okay, cool. And a locker. Oh, yeah, and I dumped the book here because I was... I didn't want to carry it around. Right, I remember that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Such a mess of an island. Something splashed into the water. Very sorry about that. Uh, okay, this is the big workbench, so I'm gonna have to... I can't even put it in that corner. All right. Very loud waterfalls uh, as a background noise. Who doesn't love that, you know, for, for crafting, for being creative and making a sleigh on, what is it, the 8th of April? Sure, because at this time of the year, you'd want to manifest winter. <laughs> now, truth be told, I'm no summer person, so I'd much rather have winter than summer. Um, but at the same time, you know, I much prefer spring and fall over somewhere in winter. Like I'm just not, you know, the extremes are just not the, not the greatest. Okay, so here goes our little sleigh. Perfect, very well done. If I do say so myself, let's give it to T-Bone. All right, here we go. T-Bone, do you like winter? Do you prefer winter time? Uh, thanks for waiting. Oh yeah, cause I got it ready for you. Do you uh, all prefer like summer over all the other seasons? I know there's quite a few people who love summer or are you also more like a spring and fall person or actually maybe a winter person? Let me know. Wait, what did we get? A short sleeved something. I didn't read the rest of it. Short sleeve dress shirt. Oh, well, it is in the colors of Callan though. So that's good. T-Bone, you understand the way it works. Okay, now before I immediately go and time travel, um, I do want to put, I do want to drop the sticks, right? Because uh, <laughs> if I don't, then tomorrow we'll already have like so many sticks dropped everywhere. Phil is still singing. He doesn't know of his fate just yet. That is fine with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, we need to continue this. I'm like very nervous about this build because I do have, I have like, I don't know, I set my mind to it like being really impressive, so I'm kind of scared that I'm not gonna deliver, um, but I'm excited. So if, for those of you who don't know, it is supposed to be like this big lookout area, um, kind of lake type situation. So it's just supposed to be like super impressive landscaping really. And then you can kind of just walk around, there's gonna be some benches. It's gonna be like this just very naturey, impressive area that you know the usually the types of areas that people love to hike around i guess um it's gonna be a little more chill than that no one no one's gonna do like sporty hikes unless they want to i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep anyone from doing that if they want it 
but uh, you know, it's just gonna be like chill. Right, and then maybe let's briefly collect some shells, because there are quite a few here. We can always use those for recipes and we're gonna need a few shell recipes. Ugh, <laughs> that kind of surprised me. Oh, and here's our message bottle. Okay, see, that works out. Uh, it is a cooking recipe. I keep getting like either, um, oh, that's a good one though. I keep getting either wallpapers, um, like head piece wear stuff, or uh, recipes, like cooking recipes on this island. So my, my, I feel like my DIY catalog is not that impressive, but that's fine. Okay, Able Sisters is still closed. Dang it. Uh, what time is it? 7.45, okay, so it'll open up like in an hour. Um, I wanna briefly check what Nook's Cranny has to offer. Maybe there's something cute. All right, oh, there's a picnic basket. I mean, it's not the colors that we would want. I have never seen this customization of like the fish, which is like a with the like a black tray. I've never seen that. Oh, I know it's like it's not the color that I like, but it is super cute. I love, 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 love that um, fishing rod with the little ducky there. It's just heckin' adorable. Okay, there's quite a few like wallpapers that could work. I don't, I feel like I've gotten so many like recipes and so many wallpaper stuff. Um, you know what, I'll purchase the picnic basket. I will buy it, let's go. I mean, why not, you know? And then uh, let's, let's go back to our shell hunt. Shell hunt, I said that weirdly, didn't I? <laughs> oh, these clouds are so pretty. You know, I just finished my Leora, which I also uploaded at like six, 6.45 a.m. So like very early morning because I feel like that. Oh my gosh, Dottie is doing yoga again. This is honestly perfect. Someone in the comments said um, that Dottie used to be this like athlete, right? But because of an injury, they had to stop pretty much. I think it was an injury. And um, because she's been seen like working out a few times. How freaking cute is she? Did you see her like smiley side glance at me? That was so cute. Yeah, so she she, she was like injured, so she couldn't keep doing um, like the athlete stuff. And basically the thing that she felt she was born to do, that was like her passion. And um, so now she uh, moved to this retreat basically to recover from that injury. Um, but at the same time, she kind of wants to keep keep doing a few like low impact kind of workouts. So she's been picking up some yoga, for example, uh, and we could give her like a yoga retreat studio type thing. I think a yoga build is pretty much perfect for this type of theme. It's something I, I kind of planned on doing anyway, so very happy to, to do that. Uh, technically, we could already move Alice out of the way. Phil is gonna be replaced by T-Bone on the left side there. I don't know if any of the beaches on the left side there are good for houses, though. I kind of doubt it. Eh, we're gonna wait another day. Let Daily move in and everything. Um, which I think the time has come. We've uh, done T-Bone's task for the day, and we have collected a bunch of shells. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go and time travel to the next day. All right, daily should be here now, but it is raining. It's like really not great weather, <laughs> which is fine. We can work with it. Um, I think we're just gonna go through the motions and uh, do like T-Bones task and stuff and then move on to the next day, which hopefully is gonna go back to sunshine. And then I mean, I generally we play during uh, cherry blossom season anyway, which means no rain whatsoever. There we go. Hello, daily. Lots of new shells already too. These are a great way to make money, by the way. Um, highly recommend, especially if you have the shell arch recipe. I recommend crafting those because you get like a lot of money for it. Hello. Oh my God. He looks so happy. Hey, Maline. Man, I took your advice and I moved here as quick as I could. This is a real nice island. I bet my bug friends are going to dig it. And I bet I'll meet more bug friends here. I'm going to finish unpacking today. You know, get the bugs out of their bug jars and get my snack jars put away. But starting tomorrow, let's play every day. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm ready for it. Look how cute. 
Yeah, he seems like the type of person who would be forced into like a professional career, even though he's just a giant child at heart, which is totally fine. Alrighty, so uh, let's collect the shells on our way to resident services. And the next course of action will be order more wheat fields, invite T-Bone in. Uh, plus we could briefly check, oh wait, there's a fossil or something here. Um, we could briefly check if maybe um, Nook's Cranny has something cute to sell today. My pockets are a mess. <laughs> because I keep picking up all this random stuff from like the the, the box uh, by resident services, etc. There's a message bottle and a fake shell, of course. Love to see it. And we have another cooking recipe. See, what did I tell you? From Maddie. Potato galette. Ooh, that sounds good. I have not had breakfast yet. It is almost 12, uh, 12 p.m. So there's that. <gasps> that does look good. Oh my god, yum. I never noticed that that is on a green plate. I'm gonna have to store that information away for the future. Okay. Ooh, I think maybe the table in the back left is cute. I'm gonna purchase this one. I feel like that could be definitely used for like a spa retreat type situation. And that's gonna be that from you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's another pipe. See, I don't know why I had the pipe here. And then on the right hand side by the beach, um, I seem to have wanted to get from A to B for some reason. I don't remember why though. I really don't. Everyone is home today. I mean, it makes sense with the with the weather, but interesting to see. Um, okay, so let's get T-Bone to visit one more time. Actually, two more times, but just, you know, once for today. <laughs> right, we get some more bonus miles. We have spent like 14,000 miles yesterday. That was a bit of a journey. Okay, yes, I want to use an amiibo. And there we go. Once again, hello, T-Bone. It is good to see you. I'll see you in the campsite in just a second. And before that, we're just going to quickly order our five daily items as well. Um, actually, let me check the daily selection okay i don't want to have a or a volcano <laughs> um anything here that i would want no i think we're gonna stick maybe with our weed fields um we could think about i'm gonna have to check out though what our progress is on that front um we could check out like the song option in the daily daily selection because i seem to remember that we did not have a lot of different songs when we were trying to pick out the stuff for like the entrance I think we had like two songs, which obviously is not great. Um, and uh, we can start like just ordering that one. Okay, nothing lost and found today. Right, perfect. Okay, and then in this beautiful weather that surely is going to make T-Bone want to move back here. Uh, let's just go talk to him and see what what type of item he wants today. Maybe like a snow person? All right, hello once again with your little teacup. And cute. Um, what is it that you require? Uh, nothing just yet. You just have to keep talking. A kettle bathtub. I feel like that is a very complicated one. Yeah, another recipe. Uh, thank you for that. I feel like this is gonna be a complicated one though. Uh, maybe one that I can't fulfill because I'm not sure. Do you need like a... Oh no wait, I think I might be confusing it with another one. Oh my gosh. You need a campfire. I hate the recipes where you need like a crafted item for that then. Okay, so wood, iron nugget, and a campfire. A campfire is this, and we need tree branches for that one. All right, well, you know, it should be actually easy enough. I thought it was going to be like that oil barrel bathtub. You know, the one where you actually need, I think, an oil barrel for it. I would have not wanted to do that. Okay, so let's see. Do I have any sticks? <laughs> Fair question. I do. I do. I do. Okay. And then I think the next part was iron nuggets. Cool. 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 Uh, and then maybe if I've got enough room, I'm just going to take the gyro fragments and bury them um, because it is raining, which I think works the same way as watering for the fragments as well. Right. Uh, so then we don't have to actually do that ourselves because any work is too much work. I don't even know if, if it does, though, because I, I can't see the little puff of, of smoke. Oh, no, there it is. There it goes. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to grow our own little gyroid fragments right here 
where we can pick them back up tomorrow, let those smoke overnight. I'm sure, that's totally fine. Nothing to worry about at all. <laughs> and then we're just gonna craft a uh, bathtub. Actually, uh, a campfire first, but you know. Okay, so campfire. And there we go. And then we're gonna keep crafting. And uh, we're gonna go for the kettle bathtub. <laughs> great choice, great choice. Um, I'm gonna also have to check my my storage for like items that I want to use in specific areas because I might have to go do some more like treasure island runs uh, to get some more like campsite stuff maybe for example. Okay, T-Bone, I finished the bathtub for you. Uh, just as a little heads up, that might be not that safe to do in the tent here. So, you know, just, 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 uh, yeah. A climbing wall. <laughs> this is the, like the most random stuff ever. Oh my gosh. But I still appreciate it, you know, and uh, come back tomorrow. <laughs> okay, with that done, the gyrids are right there. That's good. Um, we're just gonna briefly check the rest of the beach for some more shells. I should probably empty my pockets then because I feel like I'll be running into some issues tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> and then um, we're gonna do... Uh, uh, <laughs> Why does that always surprise me so much? And then I ran through the flower too. Stuff is not going according to plan, uh, which I, I hate. I, I like when things go according to plan, you know? Oh, maybe today we should move Alice. So that we can then, when T-Bone moves in, no, actually, they'll take another day. Ah, maybe it's fine. Maybe, maybe we'll wait one more, one more day. So, um, yeah, it's time for some, uh, for some time traveling. <laughs> okay, once again, you know, the weather is not looking super happy. Alice, you know, thinks this is the perfect weather to work out, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's already check this part for Shell so that I don't have to go back and do this in just a bit. Um, and then obviously we're going to make our way back to resident services. You know the drill. You know, at this point, this probably feels very repetitive and familiar. That's the beauty of inviting villagers by Amiibo card. <laughs> Hi, Pate. How are you doing? Staying trendy, Quackle? Um, I'm trying, I guess. I was like way into this walk, but then it started to get boring. And then I found you and it's fab again. Why, thank you. So yeah, I am trendy, I think. Oh no, double flowers everywhere. We've got triple flowers and double flowers everywhere. We really need to uh, clean up our act. Oh, gyroid, let's go. A twangoid. Uh, okay, sure, sure. Uh, let's go invite T-Bone for the last time. Okay, first things first, we're gonna do a bit of nook shopping. I actually just might go ahead and try and get the songs every day uh because that way you can actually build up a quite nice catalog of music even though you never go to kk concerts uh which i feel like we should do more often because uh it's quite cute you know and there's like achievements for that too it's just i feel like at some point i start i stopped uh having like patience for anything like gameplay wise i need to practice though because i still want to do a like no online island at some point, which is going to require all of the gameplay mechanics to be used. And so um, I really need to build up that patience again. Hello, T-Bone, it's good to see you again. All right, is there anything lost and found? There is another cardboard box and a wallpaper. We did also get some Nook Miles. Let's briefly check what that is. <gasps> nice, we've gotten to the 50 mark. Uh, so now we just, you know, Need to double that. <laughs> Maybe we can actually like build an area soon though, where we will kind of require like a bunch of um, a, a bunch of like items that we can order, and then it'll be much easier to fill that up. How many slots do I have? None. Okay, cool. <laughs> so I guess it's time to put this into our um, into our storage. Also, I did see that uh, Red is here today, and I don't think we've really started collecting art pieces, right? We probably should do that. Actually, wait, let me keep the materials because we might need those. All right, let's put that into storage and then we're gonna talk to T-Bone. Actually, wait, do I have the mini DIY workbench? Because I really, I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay, I really wanna craft this one because the other one is just taking up too much space. Like 1.5 tile items are a no for me most of the time. So we're gonna make this one, we need 
all types of uh, wood. So we're going to need hardwood and softwood and then some uh, some customization kits because I want to adjust it in the color, you know, so it works with our island theme, obviously. Uh, workbenches have to fit to the vibe. <laughs> oh gosh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, right, mini DIY workbench, please craft. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the hard work. Awesome. And then uh, we just need to go ahead and make that. I don't know. We could make, I think there is like a, probably a white version, a blue and a pink. Brown, ash brown. Oh wait, gray is kind of white. We've got the, the blue and the pink. I think because it is more coastal, we are going to go. I love, I love the green version too. Um, we are going to go for the blue one. Very pretty. Let's do that one. Yes. Very much appreciate it once again. See, and now, even though the waterfalls are still super loud, this is probably not the best spot for it. We can fit that in there and it's awesome. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to T-Bone and see what he wants today. Hello, T-Bone. Tell me all about your needs. After a sleigh and a kettle bathtub, I, I can only imagine wh what you'll want. A standard umbrella stand. Right, okay. Cool. That definitely needs iron, I think. Uh, and I apparently have the recipe for it. Is that correct? Yes, there it is right there. Three iron nuggets. Right, that's super easy. Okay. We can actually get right to that since we do have the iron nuggets still with us. Super loud waterfalls. I wish there was a way for us to turn those down. Um, all right, all done for that. Perfect. And then I'll actually just take these two with me as well. And here we are again, T-Bone. It is time for you to move on to this island. It's been, thanks for waiting. Yeah, I mean, we've waited long enough at this point, you know, so please. Now I have another memory of my trip here. This island's just full of good folks. Oh, I, I wait, I did the deep voice for him. Let me give you a little something too. You wouldn't turn down a pacifier, right? I have, I have questions, but I do not want to ask them because I'm scared of the answer. Thanks to all your hard work, I've gotten pretty fond of this here island. If this is how it is, putting down roots here might not be a bad idea at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, at least it's blue, you know? At least it's blue. Um, staying on brand, theme, whatever. Oh my gosh, what a weird moment. I would like to not have to relive that. It's like they're made by, made by master art, art, artisans? That's me. That's me. Um, I bet if I studied on this island, I can learn to make quality stuff too. Uh, why don't you then? You serious, kiddo? He calls me kiddo too. I mean, maybe. All right, done deal. I'm there. Or here. I'm home. Just point me at resident services and I'll give him what for. Okay, he's going to run into some issues because we are full. But that's okay. We're just going to be rude to Phil and kick him out. <laughs> so here's the lo lowdown, kiddo. I checked in with your resident services folks to see about moving in. And it's a no-go. There's no more space for anyone to build a house. Well, I ain't living on no beach again. Been there, done that. Sorry, kiddo. Now, if someone was thinking of moving out, I could work with that. Heard anything, Moocher? I have. Really? Well, don't just stand there. Give me a name and I'll go talk to him right away. Oh, that also kind of sounds a little bit threatening. Ew. The music! When I stopped by resident services earlier, it sounded like there might be someone open to moving. Uh, oh yeah. There is. I heard this rumor that Phil is ready to dive back into the you know, busy world, hasn't had enough of this retreat. So bye-bye, Phil. It was good to have you. Phil, huh? Well, how about that? Yep, you heard that right. Thanks, I'll wander over for a chat. It'll be a nice chat, so don't worry. That kind of makes me worry a bit more. And right back to the awesome music. Yeehaw, happy to report success with my Phil chat. Operation move in is a go. Seems Phil was planning on sailing for distant shores soon anyway, so I can move right in. Well, better introduce myself. They call me T-Bone. You're Moline, aren't you? T-Bone, you know me, silly. Be seeing you around, Moocher. 
oh, T-Bone, you've been here before. Come on. <laughs> Right. So with that done, uh, obviously there's a few, like there's a few tasks still for us to do. We have grown some beautiful, I'm sure, uh, gyroids. We've got the flutteroid. We have got a whistleoid. That sounds absolutely not at all annoying. <laughs> a deutoid. Oh, I think, wait, is that the heart shape one? I think that might be one of my favorites. Yeah, it is. Kind of like a heart shape, all right? I feel like I see a heart shape. Oh, the whistleoid. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then this dude who goes absolutely nuts. He is a little bit too out there in my opinion. But, you know, to each their own, we are not gonna hold anyone back. And we've got a blueoid. Okay, what does this person do? Actually, the whistleoid makes quite cute noises. All right, perfect. Well, thank you for growing, I guess. We'll see if we can use you in the future. Uh, and then, obviously, Phil wants to... Pate, are you good? Are you are you doing good? You should maybe head home, because I think there's about to be some rain very, very soon. Okay, with that done, hello, Dottie. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, it is more shell hunting, obviously. Of course, of course. How could we forget... Uh, there's another message bottle and another cooking recipe. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what to say. A cherry tart. Okay, sounds delicious. But still, you know, give me like some like cute, cute items. I don't know what I would deem as cute. I don't know what I have really. <laughs> but you know, like for example, do I have the mum cushion? That is a valid question. See, I don't have the mum cushion. I would like to learn the mum cushion. Do I have the Cosmo Shower? I don't think I did. No, see, I would like to learn the Cosmo Shower and the Mum Cushion. They're just not giving it to me. Um, Able Sisters is open. Should we check Able Sisters for maybe like a cutesy outfit? Let's go do that. I want to do that. Oh, a crown, of course. Have we talked to um, Mabel and Sable? The weather has been feeling more spring-like lately, hasn't it? You may even find that buying new seasonal clothing puts a spring in your step. Ah, oh, pain. That was, no, please. All right, let's check. Our cute little knapsack from our mom. I love that. <sighs> okay, first the pacifier, now the kid smock. What do you want to tell me, game? What is it that you want to tell me? Okay, we've had all this before. I've gotten all the all the denim skirts and crop pants that I need in my life. Uh, I don't really understand. <laughs> the cost of this is ridiculous though. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't seem as though there's anything here that we want, no. Okay, well, that was a disappointment. Thank you so much for that. I will be leaving. I will probably come back again, but with lower expectations to say the least. Okay, let's go. There is a missing item, a lost item. Actually, very, very cute color scheme. So I might just pick it up and then never give it back. <laughs> uh, so that I can just use it for decorating. Because at some point, they seem to just completely forget about their stuff. And it, you can just keep it. Oh, we got a ringoid. What is this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is cute, though. Like, the sounds are cute. Okay, some more shell items, and then we're making our way to Phil's home, who should be in boxes. I think when there's an amiibo, they like immediately go eh, into boxes and then are swapped out like the next day or something. Yeah, there we go. All right, I forgot Phil's interior. <laughs> I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm moving away from Callan. Thank you for always being a friend. I'll never forget the time we spent together here. That is good to hear, Phil. That is very good to hear. You know, he was wearing a sailor shirt, so he was very, very on brand. He really tried to fit in and he he did, I guess, for a little bit of time. Um, but at some point, you know, you, you got to maybe move on. If you've learned everything you can from a situation, it's good to uh, broaden your horizon and learn about new stuff. Let's check Bailey's interior also. Ooh. Oh, my God. Wait, why is that low key cute? Why is that also low-key making sense? It's literally like a bed. And then there's like an entire like working area. I'll see. Yeah, the business stuff. We can totally like work with this as a starting point and then adapt it. It's doing some light working out, you know, to stay fit and healthy. 
What do you think of my place? Make yourself comfy. Oh, no. Now I have to ask him if he lost the book. Okay, well, that's fine. Did you lose this? Nope, this isn't mine. Do you think it might be Pate's? Oh, is that why she was running around all lost earlier? Yeah, because that makes sense. That makes total that makes total sense. She was kind of looking really sad. Okay, now I kind of feel bad and I want to give it back to her. Maybe we maybe we actually should. Poor Pate. Okay, briefly, I know that there is red behind this. I currently don't have a way to climb there though, so let me get out some some vines. Um, have we ever donated like art pieces to the museum though? Should we check that first before we purchase anything? I think so. Um, how long have you been recording? Oh my gosh, I've been recording for an hour almost? Holy heck, when did that happen? I feel like I'm just, I've just been here for like 20 minutes. Gosh, you really get nothing done in this game in a short amount of time. It's so wild. It's cool, but at the same time, it's like, how am I ever going to get to a place where this island is finished if all I do every day is just run errands and like put out fires everywhere, you know? Oh, this gyroid is cute. The twangoid. That is my favorite. I think the twangoid is my favorite gyroid. I think it's just very, very cute. Um, and I think we've adjusted a few of these in color, but not all of them. Okay, I don't think all of these are gonna fit into my pockets. I thought so. Okay, well, in that case, we are gonna empty out uh, at least like, well, I think we can pretty much empty everything. The gyroids, the material, I have used pretty much everything that I need to. Wait, the vines I'm gonna actually keep maybe. And the customization kits. Okay, there we go. And now let me, let me get the rest of the fossils. We can go ahead and donate those. And then we can check for art pieces because I don't want to, you know, red is here like not very often. So I don't want to get like fake ones, uh, not fake ones. I don't want to get doubles. That would be even worse than fake ones, I think. Although obviously we could use it for decorating somewhere. A bubbloid. Oh, those are cute too. Those are cute too. Alrighty, okay, so let's go to our museum, which I think right, is right here on the beach. And let's see what Blathers thinks of this. We do have the cafe already. I was just wondering that because I think on uh, on another island somewhere, I did get like the picture um, just recently, but I don't think I actually went on a captain tour to get Blathers. Oh my God, they're so randomly all over my pockets. <laughs> That's a little upsetting. Okay, let's hope that there's some, like, decent, good new stuff there. Uh, let us take a closer look, shall we? Hooray! I found something that is not yet part of her Steam collection. Wait, is he not- was he not having, like, a British accent? I think he, in my head he does. I can't really do it, like, that well, though. <laughs> so I probably should not try. Okay. Alright, so, you can have anything that I can give you, honestly. I don't- I don't mind that at all. There's probably some doubles in this too, right? Maybe, let's see. Now I see you're donating multiples of the same item, right? See, see, there we go. <laughs> Anytime you get to like a decent point with your fossil collection, it's all just a bunch of doubles all the time. Okay. Okay, so we've gotten a statue before, the familiar one, the thinker. Oh my gosh, so much information. We've gotten a statue <laughs> and I see we have not gotten anything else, right. Oh wait, we do, we do, we do, we do. The solemn painting, okay. Solemn painting and the statue. Um, so we are hopefully gonna be able to get something new from Red today. Okay, since we're like very close to the resin services, I thought um, we're just gonna go ahead and also move Alice right away uh, so that we can put T-Bone back in the spot that he is supposed to be in. Um, I don't know if there is going to be like room on the beach somewhere, so we're going to have to maybe push her to the side or um, the back or something, but that should work out. Okay, so let's talk to Alice. Yes, 10,000 bells. I can do that. No worries. Absolutely no issue for us, of course. <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute. Moving my entire home sounds like it'd be thrilling. I'd love to have you move it. I'd love to have you move my entire house. Great. 
Okay, so we've got Alice's kit, um, and I don't know, maybe can we fit it like behind Abel's? No, right? This is not gonna be enough room for a house. I'm too close to the water. I need more room. I have, I'm having a sense of deja vu right now because I think we tried this and it did not work. I mean, this is, you know, this is a spot where we could move it, but like we can because the, that house is supposed to go where Alice is currently. So it all like, it doesn't, it just doesn't work out. Okay, I'm just gonna put her behind Daisy here. You know, so that all the houses are kind of combined to just the um, the left side here. Oh, she can move right next to, to the rock there? See, I did not know that. Let's do it. I don't even need to look at it. That's totally fine. She'll be like, <laughs> when she leaves her house, she's basically just going to run into Daisy's house. But that is not going to be our, that's not going to be something that we need to concern ourselves with right now. <laughs> Okay, and then let's see what type of shady business Red is offering today. Um, and then we're just gonna do some brief time traveling to get T-Bone in his actual spot. Hello there, it is good to see you. One art piece per customer. Okay, serene painting. Admittedly, I know nothing about art, so I have to look this up every single time. Um, so let me just let me just briefly take a look at this. Oh, okay, so in the, in the real one, it'll be like an all white, is it ermine? Uh, and then in the fake one, it'll have raccoon-like circles around its eyes. So this should be the correct one. Let me give. A, let me get a closer look here. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna purchase this one. Sold. Thank you very much. Okay, so the little sign is up. We bought it. It should be the correct one. Uh, we placed Alice's plot. We have invited T-Bone in. So uh, with this very shady lighting. Let's go to the next day. Okay, the plot back there is empty. Sad times, but that's fine. And then I think Phil's plot today is also just empty and like sold to T-Bone. So he will be moved in tomorrow. And not only that, but then he will only be in boxes. So I actually, actually we can't move him yet. And I feel like the episode is super long already. Um, I did just see in my storage that I had a scary painting as well. So... I might pick up the painting that we got from the mailbox or like, well, the painting that we got from Red from our mailbox. And then we're gonna go and... <gasps> I didn't give Pate her uh, her item. Oh no, wait, we should do that because I feel bad. She was, she was very, she was very much searching for it yesterday, you know? So um, we really shouldn't keep that from her. Imagine you just lose something and then it'll kind of just be... Um, like somewhere it'll be like a, used as a de decorative piece and then you'll just be like, that is my diary. <laughs> that seems kind of rude, yeah. We, we really should not do that. Okay, well, you know, that's fine. Uh, we'll find another diary. Hi everyone. Is Dottie gonna sit down? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Cute, okay, so Pate is at home. She's probably sad about her, um, her lost item, right? Oh yeah, we got a mu music piece as well. We need to put that into the entrance thing. All right, Pate, I got something for you. Please don't be mad at me. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I just choose the villagers that actually have like decent interiors? This is literally cute. All right, Pate, with your spa interior, hello. Did you drop something? I don't know, let me see. Okay. Actually, wait, isn't she a peppy? She's not, she's supposed to have the peppy voice. I totes thought I'd like never see my autograph, my autograph book again. It's so wild that you found it. Your autograph book, right, 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 right. Okay, what is the fab reward? It's a mini fridge. That actually is kind of fab. You know, in terms of cute items, probably not so much, but a mini fridge is cool. Also that pun was not intended and we're not gonna talk about it. Okay, this is a music player right here. So let's put in the new song that we got. We're gonna keep the Welcome Horizons for now though, because I feel like the new one isn't really, isn't really great either. Um, and then we were gonna go, wait, to the museum actually. Uh, just donate the few pieces and, uh, you know, work on our art collection. Maybe the other one that I have is a fake though. I'm actually not sure. I don't know why it was in my st storage. Like if I just uh, was like too 
lazy to donate it at the time or if it actually is maybe a fake. Okay, he just took both of them. Right, so that works out. Awesome, okay. All right, now we still don't have T-Bone on the actual island, but our lineup is now pretty much complete. I mean, T-Bone will be here uh, sooner or later. Sounds so threatening again. Um, and so now, like I said, we can kind of focus on the storylines. I think I will actually add a section to my website um, on like the Callan page where I kind of maybe briefly describe their storyline so that we have it all written down and kind of can look at it whenever we need to. And then we can work out their different like area ideas um, and interior uh, and stuff like that. We also do need to still play a little bit of the DLC. I believe we were maybe at like 20 houses ish. Um, and yeah, I will now go get some food and then I think we have to do some grocery shopping. But my plan is to record another episode later today, uh, if, if possible. So we'll see wherever that takes us. But for now, I will say thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little errand running episode. I know that sometimes, you know, these types of things just need to happen. And so I'm happy to take you along um, on that journey as well. And then just make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. And then I will hopefully very soon see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Thank you.